The soul of a warrior is not born, it is made. Every generation, every culture forges its own expression of this eternal mystery. The soul of a samurai intertwines with the steel of his blade. The courage of a soldier stems his aim. And tonight, as I prepare for the greatest battle of my young life, my hands are steadied by the thousand threat count Egyptian cotton sheath around my secret weapon. This is not a war of bullets, but a war of feathers. Tonight, my chance has come to prove the warrior's soul lives within me. Tonight, we pillow fight. Debbie, please. Welcome back to the WPFL Tournament Qualifying Round Exclusive here on SSN. I'm Tom Simmington. And I'm Murray, the dump truck butt sick. Today's next bout is coming to you live from a storied Florida State dorm, Building G, Unit 14. Hallowed ground for slumber sport enthusiasts the world over. Our challenger Jolene said in her interview this morning that she is honored to have her first bout here. So much history in this place, Tom. From the 1974 semifinal defeat of Regina Logbottom to a then unknown glory all red, all the way to the blowout 81 kegger for Martina Beluka's 20th birthday. I can still recall the sight of Tammy Watkins pile driving Annette Spamachini into that same red couch, what, 15 years ago? We all remember that one, Tommy boy. And I bet the whole place probably still reeks of cigarettes, dryer sheets, and PBR. Don't ever call me Tommy boy. Oh, sorry. The crown jewel of Building G has earned its reputation as a stage where legends are born. Now let's see if Jolene can earn her place in the Pantheon today.
Debbie Wins. ちょりへの私の道を明るく神の訪問者私の中の知識を成長させ私の謙虚な魂を拡大するここはどこ私は浮かんでいるように感じるあなたは家の空にいる神の訪問者本当にあなたですか押し寄せる翼せろの待てあなたの家族は何千年も見てきましただから自分の半室をあなたの抱き枕バスケットボールを知っているように見えますそれが起こることはありませんでした多分それは夢でした出現が本当に神の訪問者であったならそらく失うことはできませんまたウォッカとテキーラを混ぜることは悪い考えでしたラウンドワンキロファイト Today is already one for the record books and we are just getting started. Coming up next, Kiki is a singular presence this year and she has energized a devoted fan base. It's extremely rare to see a different species reach this far in the qualifiers, but the female lowland gorilla from Equatorial Guinea has proved that it can happen. She's clearly got a lot of courage, a, a lot of spunk, and just an overwhelming amount of heart. That is what I get from this monkey. She's not a monkey, she's an ape. What, what's, her, what's her training been like, Tom? I saw you talking to her coach, Mark, this morning. Yes, that's right. Three hours at the gym each morning, then alphabet blocks in the afternoon. Mark told me earlier this week her usual diet of fruits, tree bark, and roots has had to be supplemented. Competition at this level is really pushing Kiki to get in the best shape of her life. Is it possible, and I'm just spitballing here. Oh god, here it comes. Is it possible that if Kiki wins the tournament, uh, could we be setting off a chain reaction with so-called Planet of the Apes type consequences? I think that's extremely unlikely, Murray. And furthermore, I think you're a f***ing idiot for suggesting it on air.
My dream of creating the perfect voxel-based fighter will finally be realized. Now wait a minute, are you sure this thing is safe? Oh sure, yes, yeah, sweetie, it's totally safe. Safer than driving a car! Don't worry, Debbie. We have thoroughly tested it on mice before moving on to a number of homeless volunteers. We worked out all the kinks on them and believe me, it was rough going there for a while. But you'll be just fine. Now this is scanning work again? Um, you should probably hold still for this. Yeah! Well, that was easy. The neural imprint works, sir. Beginning the voxel build now. from bad slumber parties that have attached themselves to Debbie's combat training. My god, we have to get out of here before... 